All right, guys, we're getting in the car right now. We're gonna slam the door so we can try and get some of the snow off the sides. But my goodness, I didn't sleep. I tried. I hardly got any rest. Okay, so we're heading to all the way to the other side of town, folks. We really got some work to do. And unfortunately, it's too lucrative to not accept. So I have to get off my butt and go. It's 12.25 p.m. December 28th, 2020. Try to do some abrupt maneuvers to get some snow off my car. Hit the brakes and stuff like that. It's gonna all fall onto my windshield once it, this heat gets it to go, but I'll try it. <coughs> Yeah, guys, look at this. Just beautiful. We have a lot of snow. We have a lot of snow. The other video that I tried to post like three hours ago, it's still uploading. I can't believe it. But it's long. I did the whole valley tour for you guys. I went to every part of every entrance in town. So basically, we went to Highway 18 on the back side. We went to Highway 18 on the front side by the dam, and then we went to Onyx Summit. So Highway 38. Well, yeah, guys, we got a lot of traffic right here. We're gonna take the back roads. So hang on, let me just stop this for a moment. All right, sorry, I'm sitting here talking to you guys like I had you guys on, and you guys weren't on. As I said, we're gonna take the back streets in just a moment all the way to the other side of town. All the way. <coughs> That's a smoker's cough, not a COVID cough, don't worry. But guys, please be careful. Like, please pull over into like a parking lot or something to put on your chains. Don't, don't stop in the middle of the lane on the busiest road in town. Like, I mean, come on, like, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but like, how, like, how, jeez, I'm just not gonna go there. Just please be careful. sledding right here 
and write your nice big fat tickets. There's signs every 25 to 50 feet that say no parking anytime. In big bold writing. So please do not get any tickets, don't get anything like that up here, you guys. Just come up here and have fun. I'll try to help you find like a sledding spot or something so you don't get in like any trouble, you know? Imagine if I stopped right here in this lane and decided to put chains on, just, just right here. Like, dude, like, does anybody think that's a good idea? <laughs> Okay, we're gonna start our back street journey now. So they 
cut the names in half and call it Moon Loaf. It's about a quarter of a mile strip. It's very small, but it's so cool. Especially in this weather. We still don't need to take the back roads all the way, but we're going to. We're on aeroplane now. Part of this road gets a little bit rough up here because it gets a little steep, but it's still better than taking the main road if you have good traction. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. This is all going to end January 1st. The smoking. but come up here and have a great time. So cool, man. That little kid is going to have these memories for the rest of his life. That is so awesome. <coughs> Alright, so I got to make a quick phone call to my customer. Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. So we're back on Big Bear Boulevard, and we're about to turn on Maple to head up to Sugarloaf. This is one of the most dangerous roads in town when we have snow and ice. This is the one I'm about to turn on at the stoplight. It's called Maple. It takes you up to Sugarloaf. But where we're going is a neighborhood with mansions. This gentleman lives in one of the nicest mansions in all of Big Bear. However, he's actually, I think, at one of his his pal's houses down the street. So we're going there. But out of privacy, I'll be shutting it off. And then we're gonna, as I said, take Blue Loaf back. Look, see, at, oh, that's so sad, man. Oh, man, I hope they're okay. I guarantee you it was coming down this hill, and they couldn't stop at the stoplight, and they went right through and hit right there. That is such a bummer, you guys. But this is the hill. This is it. This is dangerous. Super, super steep. I mean, I don't know if you can tell from here, but it's, it's nasty steep. And then to the right, there's a huge gutter. Your whole car will go right in there and there's no way out unless you get towed out.
there's snow. This is what causes snow blindness. So be very careful guys. Don't be looking when you're up here straight into the snow when the sun's out like this. You want to wear your very heavy duty sunglasses. Park over here. All right, we're in Sugarloaf, but we're not going into Sugarloaf. We're going into this really nice neighborhood down below. As I said, it's just mansions. It's really nice. This is the Baldwin side of town. Clear skies up here. Sugarloaf when it's this bad, if you're not confident on that steep hill, I would take this hill. So just keep on going straight on, on Big Bear Boulevard and go on to Highway 38. Just stay on uh, Big Bear Boulevard, it'll eventually curve on to Highway 38 and then like your first street, or not your first street, but a, like a couple streets up on the right will be Baldwin. And that's where you want to turn. This is Baldwin. But look at these houses. They're just huge. I mean, seriously, it's beautiful. Out of uh, privacy, we're turning off. Okay, we just got a little loose on this road, but yeah, there's some deep snow over here in this neighborhood, guys. This is cool. Look at how deep it is, and we're just plowing through it like nothing. This is at least nine inches, ten inches of snow. And actually, maybe a little more than that. It's probably closer to a foot. If you can see how deep these tracks are. I'm looking through the camera, and it, it doesn't look as deep as it does in person, but it's really deep. And we're just cruising like it's nothing. Gosh, you gotta love this vehicle, man. You gotta love this vehicle. Alright, here we go. Heading up here to head to Boot Wolf. Hill. So when there's no one on it, you just get some gas so you can make it up the whole way and just coast this rest of the way. Baldwin's one of the main roads up here. There aren't any homes like on Baldwin down there.
Moon Ridge through this off-roading little adventure, which is pretty fun. And going this direction, I'm much more confident because we're going to be going up the really crazy hill. Obviously, we go down one really crazy hill first, but it's not nearly as bad as the going up this one. So, you'll see. You'll see. like so much fun you guys oh my gosh they're making so many numbers right now this is great this is terrific so that's the hard hill to get down and this is the harder one to get up <laughs> especially if there's cars coming i don't see any cars coming okay here we go we're gonna charge it you guys and there's a lot of deep potholes too that kind of worries me but we're just gonna go anyway we're gonna charge this Wow, it's deep over here. It's, it's well over a foot over here. It's like a like 15 inches, but we're way up high in elevation. But yeah, it's about 15, 16 inches of snow up here, and we're making it like no problem. Look at that, guys! Just keep rushing this road. Wow, we made it to the top. So now we go through the rest of Moonbow, which is a cool little adventure. Winter Wonderland like this is so cool. Sorry about that. The phone shut down because it was overheating, but now I got myself not stuck, but we're in a deep spot. Hit the gas here and slide out like that, man. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Guys, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. Yeah, the phone overheated because I had that the heat on the whole time for the windshield. But yeah, Moonloaf is gorgeous, guys. We're just about to the end of Moonloaf. I stopped until the phone warmed or cooled off to finish Moonloaf because I didn't want you guys to miss out. So that's Moonloaf, guys. Lots of snow up here. We're way up high in elevation here. We're about another 800 feet, 1,000 feet up from down down in the valley so they get a lot more snow up here at least six more inches up here than we get down there this is like the elevation of the top of uh, uh, Bear Mountain almost Angels Camp is a very nice road look at how fast these clouds move guys but yeah this road has a lot of beautiful homes on it plowing I must say but these people's driveways are just impossible how are you supposed to get out I mean seriously look at that 
into Moonridge and just take us home, upload this video, and I have some more business to attend to. Thankfully, this next customer is in this area that we're in right now, but I have to go home to get the product. The super dank is on its way. all the snow you guys this is Columbine Street we want to make a right right up here where that guy's coming out right here on Canyon Crest and we're gonna take this this is kind of a sneaky way into Moonridge you guys so if you're paying attention from Upper Moon Ridge, this is a sneaky way through the neighborhood so you don't have to deal with traffic if there is any traffic. Some of these parts up here are very treacherous though, guys. I mean treacherous. Some of the most dangerous parts about driving in Big Bear are driving in Upper Moon Ridge like where I'm at right now. Parts of the lower part when we get back down are even worse. I mean, even I sometimes lose lose it down there. So, it, I mean, if it gets that bad, you know it's bad. If I'm having a really hard time, then you know it's bad. I've been doing this long enough where I'm I'm pretty good at it by now. Should be Calusa. Yep, Calusa Drive. Look at how cute those doggies are. Yep. No worries. Those are the most adorable dogs ever. Oh, ever. Hi guys. <laughs> the most they really are. The, she was apologizing because she was in my way. There's no need to apologize. You're on you're on your own freaking neighborhood street. Have fun. Have fun. I love considerate people like that though. Okay guys, this is this is kind of hairball right here. Oh gosh. Okay, we got our foot on the brake. Well we're we're not just holding the brake, we're depressing it. Slowly, slowly. For about three seconds, a slow push harder and harder, and then letting go, and then slowly pushing it in until it's down a good amount and then letting go and then slowly pushing it again. Like right here is where I should use X mode, but uh, we're not going to. And I really hope it doesn't turn out to be a bad idea because this is not a smart move by me. Um, come on, Nick. Come on, Nick, don't be, don't do it. Don't, don't do it, my friend. This guy's in my way, my friend. It's really dangerous, my friend. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Had to let go of the brake a little bit or else we were gonna lose control right there. Now we regained. I mean, I'm in 100% control right now, 100%. However, I was just, I know what the car feels like when something's about to start slipping. And it's really good in this type of weather, guys, to get to know your vehicle well. You want it to become like your girlfriend. You want to ride on it all, ride in it all the time. Oh my gosh, guys, I am so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Um, old past behaviors. I'm sorry. <coughs> now we make a left here. 
This is sheep horn. And this lets you off over by Bear Mountain. But not for us because we are going right instead of left. see there's significantly less snow down here. I mean, it's still a lot of snow, but compared to up there, you remember seeing the sides of the streets, how much snow there was? There was like a foot and a half up there. Now we're coming down to about a foot. People shoveling everywhere. That's it, that's the least fun thing to do with snow, is to shovel. Now we're on Moon Ridge Road right here when we turn right. There's a lot of these types of Jeeps up here in front of us. Those things apparently do extremely well in this type of weather. Extremely well. And if you're extremely cautious in a vehicle like that, you'll be 100% fine. Or like mine. But if you get impatient and want to get somewhere a little faster, that's when the danger occurs. way he wants to go but he's still stopped there he's not even moving I mean guys please don't stop in the middle of the street there I, like it's a small town we don't have many lanes up here and when you stop in the middle of the street for other people that are having a really hard time in this weather they would probably appreciate it when uh, they're having a hard time driving if you don't make it even worse for them talking about you guys look at that little guy yeah on a snowboard yeah buddy oh that does not look like fun but he's doing a good job man man he's shoveling the crap out of that what a good job look at everyone shoveling this guy's shoveling <coughs> take the back road behind the satellite parking lot for bear so we don't get stuck in that traffic so we're doing all the nice cool back roads you guys so you guys can check them out for your sale all right so right here instead of okay, if you want to taking this back street right here to avoid the traffic up there and this is going to take us to Elm Street and then we're going to take Elm back to Moon Ridge Road and then back home alright you guys hope you guys are enjoying this Good amount of snow. Oh, look at that new house being built. Never noticed that. I put that thing together quickly.
right, so we're coming up here. We're on uh, Cougar, and here Cougar and Sonoma merge right here. So we gotta be super careful. We don't see anybody coming, so we're good. They make a left here. Oops, there we go. All right, we're back to Moon Ridge Road, folks. There's Bear Mountain out that way. But this is what we are doing right now. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll post some more a little bit later. I love you guys a lot. Seriously, hope this keeps you guys safe and gives you guys good information. It's so tiring, but it's so worth it. I love you guys a lot. Take care. December 28, 2020 in the Big Bear Lake, California area. Peace out. It's about 1.13 p.m. at the end of the video.